Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis announcing on Wednesday that once a vaccine for COVID-19 becomes available, he will be among the first to get it. However, in the meantime, Minnis reiterated his calls for discipline as he warned Bahamans against traveling to COVID-19 coliseums. The Prime Minister says increased travel improves the Bahamas' chances of being thrown into a more dangerous third wave that could alter reopening plans of major hotels and further delay the restart of the Bahamas' economy. Walmart can work, can we? That simple trip abroad into what I would call a COVID coliseum can result in bringing the virus back. Minnis noted that there has been an extraordinary spike in COVID-19 cases in North America and Europe and warned that there are more than just health consequences to consider when traveling. Borders could be shut suddenly with no set time as to when they may reopen. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, the humans traveling abroad, if international borders are shut suddenly, they can find themselves in a situation where they're trapped and cannot return. Minnis again insisted that the second wave, which saw increased deaths and hospitalizations, was triggered by the 4,224 Bahamians who traveled to hotspots. People don't like to hear facts. Meantime, for those Bahamians who decide to travel, the Prime Minister warned that locally produced COVID-19 RT-PCR tests will not be accepted for re-entry. The Prime Minister added that with vaccines emerging, there is a reason to hope. I want to say to the Bahamians, there are a lot of rumors about vaccines, etc. But be assured that whenever the vaccine is introduced into the Bahamas, I most certainly will be one of the first to receive the vaccine. Two vaccines have demonstrated high levels of success in phase three trials. Minna says the government is working with the World Health Organization and others to secure vaccines for the Bahamas. For the Guardian News Network, I'm Kyle Joaquin.